So what do you understand by this extends keyword? By now we know that inheritance is nothing but a concept which allows you to acquire the properties and behaviors from its parent class. So what does this extend keyword does? This extend keyword is the keyword that allows you to inherit the properties or the behaviors from the parent class in the child class. Just an example, how would you understand about it? For an example, now you are creating a class, the child class. This child class is trying to inherit the properties or the behaviors from its parent class. In that or those cases, it uses the extends keyword. But will a child class only acquire the properties and behavior? Will it not have its own unique features? No, a child class can also have its own unique features. It can have its own unique behavior. That is, we say that when you are creating a new class, this new class is a standalone class. This class can inherit the properties from its existing class and can also define certain new properties. And how do you declare the syntax of this extends keyword? An extends keyword is mainly written in the class declaration. How do you write? Following with your class name, that is the new class that you create. After that, you write this keyword and after the keyword, you write your parent class from which this class is in inheriting the properties. So it says that we have a class which is a super class. And remember, a super class is nothing but your parent class or a base class. So you just gen in general, how you create a class, you have created a class called public class super. You close this class and then you have created a, your child class, which is your subclass. So you write public class the subclass name and then the extends keyword after the extends keyword you write the parent class from which you want to inherit the properties one important note is that you need to understand if you are declaring the super class as a public class then both the classes are to be defined in your separate classes and if you are not using this public then you can define this class under the same program so let us see with the help of an program. In this program, we have created two classes with the first class is class calculation. And in this class, what we are doing is that we are trying to define certain method which performs certain addition and subtraction. So we have created an instance variable C which will hold the sum of A and B or the difference of A and B. So we have created a method which returns no value but takes the parameters okay it takes the parameter and then add the a plus b store it in c and then print the value similarly then you have created another method called subtraction which takes the value in parameters and then store the difference in c and then print the value c normally what we did is that we create the addition subtraction or uh, any number of methods and then in the main method you provide the value to these method in order to calculate and display but now we are trying to understand what if we are trying to create a new class and in that new class we want to call these methods that is i'm calculating i'm creating a new calculation class and in that class i want to define a multiplication in this program i have defined only addition and subtraction now i'm creating a new program in which i have want to define a new method called multiplication along with that i would want to call the addition and subtraction in my new class without defining the calculations or without defining these expression or the block of statements so this is my new class or the child class where I have defined as public class my calculation and this child class wants to inherit or acquire the properties of its parent class that is using your extends keyword and your parent class name is calculation right again so you write your child class name which extends the behavior from your parent class and now in this I have defined a new method we already said a child class can has its unique features along with the inheritance of the behavior from its parent class. So we have defined a multiplication method which will take the value of A and B in its parameter and then calculate the value and store it in C. 
and this C is available in your parent class, right? So then in the main method, we have instantiated or created an object for this particular class. Remember, an object is nothing but an instance of a class. So how would you create this with the help of new keyword? Now then you use this object instance to call the method which is available within the class and to call the methods which are available in its parent class. If the methods in the parent class were private, this inheritance will not be allowed because those private methods are private to that particular class. So in order to be inherited, those should be of your public type. So you write demo because this is your object reference. So you write the object reference dot the method and then a and b and this a and b you have created here by passing the value. Either you can directly pass the value or pass the reference. Remember when you write a method, when you call the method, there are two possibilities. Either you provide the value or you pass the reference. So I have created here ref reference. I create integer a and b with certain values and then I pass the reference in the parameters that is a comma b this value will be 20 comma 10 you can either write directly 20 comma 10 or a comma b so now what you have done you have not rewritten the addition and the subtraction method in your my calculation so the main advantage was code reusability avoidance of writing the code again redundancy of data will be avoided so you write or you call the addition and the subtraction method from your calculation class and that is possible only when you extend the parent class right so you write the object reference dot the method name and the values in the parameters similarly for your subtraction and then multiplication so here the addition and subtraction will be called from your parent class that is from your calculation class and this multiplication is a unique feature for your child class that is my calculation. So let us execute this program practically to understand how can you call or acquire the properties or the methods from your parent class. Let us see in this example how you can use the concept of inheritance to inherit the properties or the behavior of your parent class into a child class. Here we have created a class called calculation and in this class we are declaring two methods one is the addition the second one is subtraction in these two methods we shall find out the addition or the sum of two values and then the subtraction that is the difference of two values so we have created a variable of an integer type int c and then in the addition method we shall get the values of a and b from the main method calculate the sum of these values store it in this integer and then print the value again in the subtraction method we are trying to get the values from the main method and find the difference and then save it in this instance variable and then print the value so this is what we have created in our parent class now we have created another class which is called my calculation which is a child class and in order to inherit the behavior or the variables or any methods from its parent class we use a keyword called extends so first we create a class this is our child class then we write the keyword extends and then the parent class name which is calculation in our example and then similarly in this class what is the rule of this inheritance? It says that a child class can declare or define its own methods along with its parent class. Not necessary that this class should define all the methods or call all the methods of its parent class. It, it can call whichever method it wants. And this is mainly used to avoid the rewriting of the code. That is, you can reuse the code that you have written in your parent class so first we create another method called public void in this we will get the values from the main method find the multiplication value of a and b and store it in the instance variable you need to see here that we have not declared any instance or local variable called c in your child class this c has been inherited from your parent class and how it has been inherited 
with the help of extends keyword so the first point here you did not have to declare the instance variable again you reused the variable that you have declared in your parent class and then you store the value and print the value of c let us see now in main method how you declare the values so you created an object reference for your child class demo with the help of new keyword and now you have declared the values for a and b either in this methods you can directly provide the value or provide the reference in this case we have been trying to provide the reference so we write int a is equal to 20 and b is equal to 10 one simple would be to call the method of your child class with the help of your object reference and how do you call that you write the object reference dot the method name whichever is that in your child class and then pass the reference in your parameters so now this 20 and 10 which has been passed in your parameters will be called by this method and then the value would be stored in c and then printed as the value similarly you have created certain methods called addition and subtraction in your parent class so what you are trying to do here is that you have two variables with the value 20 and 10 you are saying that you would want to find the multiplication value that you have defined and then again you would want to find the value of these which is sum of the value and the difference so what do you do either you can declare these methods again here by writing public void addition and so and so you can again write in or instead of rewriting the code the next concept is reuse the code which is already available so this addition and subtraction methods are already available in your parent class so we will inherit from that and to inherit we just use the extends keyword and the code to call the method would be similar as you would be calling a local method within your class so you write the object reference dot the addition and this object reference will be of your child class and not your parent class because in your parent child class you're trying to call your parent class method so you write demo dot addition which is your method name and then pass the value or the reference that is 20 and 10 similarly you do it for subtraction so let us save this file and execute Control s and then f11 so now as you can see in the console it says the sum of the given number is 30 the difference is so and so and the product of the number is this so these two statements with the value which calculated a and b value has been called or derived from your parent class so these two are inherited from your parent class so this is how you reuse the code in your child class and avoid redundancy of your code or the data